There's something about being naturally beautiful. It's pretty much something most women want to be, and men. There are actually quite a few influencers who've claimed to have never had plastic surgery. Yeah, before and after photos seem to contradict that. So did the influencers on this list really wake up like that? You be the judge. Coming in hot at number 10, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner has famously claimed she's never had plastic surgery. She's finally admitted to getting lip fillers after claiming for years she's never gotten anything done on her lips. She simply overlined them to make them look bigger. But even so, lip fillers don't really qualify as a surgery because they're non-invasive. What many people have wondered is how Kylie achieved her hourglass figure. Most of her critics believe that she's gotten butt and cheek fillers in order to make her hips a lot wider because her waist is still very small. Definitely be a nice problem to have. You also have to remember that Kim Kardashian is a similar figure and Kylie also had a baby recently. So is her figure the result of plastic surgery or a heck of a lot of squats? At number 9, Jaylen Ochoa. There's a very high chance you've come across Jaylen on Instagram because she's got 10.6 million followers. She's gained a huge following for like obvious reasons, <laughs> but her trademark figure is definitely high up on that list of reasons. Those hips though. Jaylen maintains that her curves are a result of a ton of squats and rigorous workout routines, and she's also tried to debunk plastic surgery rumors. But if you've been following her for a long time, you know that her body shape changed quite quickly and drastically when she was a teenager. It is entirely possible to achieve a body like this through workouts. Do you think it's the result of plastic surgery and butt implants, or is it natural? In at 8, Sarah McDaniel. We've talked about her a few times on this channel. Sarah is a model who's famous for her different colored eyes. One is blue and one is brown. Sarah insists that her different colored eyes are the result of a condition she was born with, heterochromia. She wore one blue contact for years and we know this because her blue eye has been photographed changing colors magically. Recently though, it's believed that Sarah went and got a controversial illegal surgery where she had a blue implant put into her eye. Her own father also exposed her with an Instagram post where he shared a photo of her as a child with two brown eyes. But Sarah maintains she's all natural. All natural. Mm -hmm. Coming into the number seven spot, Tammy Hembro. Tammy Hembro is one of the most famous fitness influencers on Instagram. She is famous because, hello, she is stunning and also has one of the most rockin' bods around. Some people say she's achieved her gorgeous face through really good makeup skills and good lighting. She also denied getting a Brazilian butt lift and says she's been lifting heavy weights for years. But then there's a hefty amount of people who also say that she's achieved it through surgery. Maybe she's had surgery, maybe people are just jealous. What do you think? At number six on our list, Kendall Jenner. Yet another member of the Kardashian clan who shut down plastic surgery rumors. In a 2017 post on her website, Kendall explained that it was really Kylie's makeup techniques that were responsible for her changing appearance. She said, I quote, All of a sudden, photos of us came out with headlines of, oh my god, Kendall got her lips done and got a full facial reconstruction. Look at her cheekbones, look at her nose. I was like, this is crazy. I didn't even address it at the time because if I address it, people are going to be like, oh, she's defending herself. She must be guilty. As a model, why would I have my face reconstructed? It doesn't make sense. So because Kendall has been in the limelight for many years now, we have pictures of her when she was young. They are everywhere, and they do show a difference in her facial structure. A spokesperson for MYA Cosmetic Surgery also said that her nose appears thinner and more feminine, indicating she might have had a surgical rhinoplasty. Her eyebrows also appear lifted and arched. So the spokesperson speculated she had anti-wrinkle injections to achieve that. She also appears to have had fillers done very recently. I mean, Kylie is her sister, right? Whatever she has done, if she has had anything done, Kendall is extremely beautiful. Any procedures she has had done must have been very minimal, which is why she looks natural. Or maybe she is natural. Halfway there now at number 5, Yes Jules. Yes Jules is a DJ and influencer with 614,000 followers who came under fire for using the N word and seeming to have a distaste toward black women. She released a freestyle song where the lyrics are, because my ass is fat and my skin ain't black, I'm the vulture you hunt in. Afterward, people called for her to be cancelled and also people claimed that she got surgery to look more like a black woman. Like the other influencers on our list, she says she's never gone under the knife. Photos of her from a few years ago show her body has changed a lot. But was that change the result of surgery or did she just get curvier? Women do get hips as they get older, most of us. I got some, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> At number four on our list, Lindsay Palas. Genetically gifted Lindsay has been called the hottest woman in the world by both GQ and Maxim, but she's claimed that her looks are all natural. She's also gone onto Instagram accounts like exposing celeb surgery to defend herself. Here's one of her comments. There is zero surgery between any of these photos. I'm all for detective work, but do better dumbass. 
P.S. Seek therapy. Okay, uh, but I mean, you can clearly see a stark difference in her appearance, especially her nose. She's definitely had a rhinoplasty and lip injections. When you look at that photo of her in the red top compared to what she looks like now, I mean, she doesn't look like the same person. I almost thought it wasn't her in that photo until I looked at the smile. That is her. I'm just genetically gifted, guys. All natural. Coming in at three, we got Anastasia Kvitko. Dubbed the Russian Kim Kardashian, Anastasia insists that her hourglass figure is the result of a strict diet and workout regimen. She also said in interviews that she's more beautiful and better than Kim Kardashian because she's never had plastic surgery. But photos of Anastasia from a few years ago tell a different story. Again, if getting plastic surgery is what Anastasia wants to do, then just go for it. But claiming that your body's all natural when it isn't creates the false narrative where you can achieve this kind of figure by natural means. Anastasia also claims that she doesn't edit her photos at all and we all know that that's not true. Anastasia is followed by close to 11 million people on Instagram at the time of this recording. Coming in at 2 we got Bella Hadid. Bella is one of the most recognizable and highest paid models in the world. She made 6 million dollars in 2017. She's also been called the most beautiful woman in the world proven by science. But as of October 2019, Bella also claims to be all natural. She claims she's never had plastic surgery and never will. Experts say otherwise. And so do before and after photos. It's highly probable that she's had Botox, dermal fillers and quite likely a rhinoplasty. I mean you can't deny her nose has completely changed shape. There is no amount of makeup or contouring that can create a nose shape like Bella's. And at number one on our list, Khloe Kardashian. Back in October of 2018, Khloe tweeted, I hope whenever I need slash want facial surgery, I can just take a pill or something. LOL, this shit scares me. The tweet was a response to a recent episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where Kris Jenner gave her friend Sheila a face and neck lift for her birthday. But fans responded to this tweet by Khloe with before and after photos that show a huge difference in how her face has changed. And they accused her of being a liar. She's also been accused of doing something to her butt. There's also the plastic surgeon who's responsible for the Kardashians transformation over the years, Dr. Simon Orion. He's even been featured on their reality show. This is a screenshot that shows Khloe receiving laser treatment on her butt. Could she have had other work done also? And maybe they just didn't put it on the show. We live in a day and age where it seems like everyone is getting plastic surgery. There's even a concept called the Instagram face, where people are going to plastic surgeons and asking for thick arched eyebrows, full cheeks, and full pouty brat's lips. Essentially, Kylie Jenner's aesthetic. So it's definitely nice to hear when influencers and celebrities are all natural. At least, as long as they're not lying about it. Little disclaimer, this video is not meant to shame people who've had plastic surgery. Like I said in part one, if it makes you happy, then go for it. It's pretty much become a beauty standard to get a little, you know, a little. <laughs> this right here is just a list of high profile influencers who claim they haven't had plastic surgery. It is up to you to decide if they have or they haven't. It's up to you, boo. I'm saying nothing. Maybe a little something. I'll say a little something. Coming in at number 10 we got Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton has famously claimed that she's all natural. She also famously claimed that she invented the selfie. Even though there are rumors that she'd had some work done, she said I quote, I'm all natural and very proud of that. Even Kim Kardashian said on an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians that Paris Hilton looks the exact same even after all these years. She hasn't even had Botox or fillers. Paris credits her usefulness to staying out of the sun and a good skincare routine. She's been using a cream called Creme De La Mer which is about $175 per one ounce bottle. She's reportedly been using this cream since she was eight. I like just started washing my face two years ago. You've been using that shit since you were eight? <laughs> Paris is now 37 years old. She has her own anti-aging skincare line and she encourages women to stay away from cosmetic procedures. Quite frankly, in my opinion, she doesn't look like she's had any work done, but what do you think? Next up at number 9 we got Demi Rose Mobby. The Taz Angel has 11 million followers on Instagram and people say that she's had both her breasts and her butt done. She famously hit back at her critics accusing her of being plastic by saying on Twitter, stop with the surgery sh it's boring. She claims that she grew up with an eating disorder which explains the difference in her body. She tweeted these photos of herself in the red dress and uh, yeah you do see a difference. But she claims that as she gained weight, her breasts and butt got bigger. She also says that she works out in order to shape her bottom. 
That is how it works, isn't it? Gain weight, get bigger. Yeah, sounds about right. I don't know. Coming in at number eight on our list, Shiana Shea. The Vanderpump cast member went on Twitter in 2016 to claim that she didn't have work done. And she said she looks different because she just got better at makeup and she also lost weight. She said in another interview that she lost 25 pounds with the help of a personal trainer. She then admitted that she's been getting Botox since 2011 and having her lips done. But she maintains nothing about her is plastic. Can you really classify Botox as plastic surgery? I feel like it falls within that category, but like I said in part one, it's not invasive, so. She did lie about it for a few years though. At lucky number seven on our list, we got Angelina Jolie. No introduction needed, but I think Angelina Jolie is the prime example of a woman in Hollywood who has stayed natural. At least, so she claims. She said in an interview that she loves seeing herself age because when she looks in the mirror, she sees her mother. That is friggin' beautiful. I see my mother in my face as I get older too. I didn't used to look like her and now, now I do. Angelina attributes her gravity defying face to dermatology. She does intense pulse light sessions every once in a while. But what do the experts say? Los Angeles plastic surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Ronsley thinks that she's had a rhinoplasty to make her nose slimmer and more compact. Of course it is in the interest of plastic surgeons to tell everyone that someone as iconically beautiful as Angelina isn't natural. But then again, you let me know if you think Angelina is all natural. At number six we got Gigi Hadid. Okay, so I know that Bella Hadid is supposed to be the most beautiful woman in the world, but I think the only woman who comes close to beating her is her sister Gigi. Gigi insists she hasn't had plastic surgery, and so does her own mother, Yolanda. On The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Yolanda Hadid said, I quote, None of my children have ever done fillers or Botox or put anything foreign in their bodies. <laughs> She continued, they know better after seeing what I went through. Yolanda is talking about the fact that her plastic surgeries almost killed her. Truth be told, I think Gigi hasn't had anything done. I know it's hard to come to terms with someone being as beautiful as Gigi being that way naturally, but she is. Other than her trying out various makeup looks and hairstyles, Gigi's face hasn't changed. Not in my opinion at least. What do you think? Halfway there now at number five, we got Sniper Wolf. Right now, Sniper Wolf has 17.4 million subscribers. Leah has said time and time again that she's never had plastic surgery, and she's also criticized many women for going under the knife and also photoshopping their photos. If you've seen Nerd City's video on her, you know that that's probably a lie. Leah finally admitted that she got a nose job, but she got it for medical reasons. Her critics say that the shape of her nose shouldn't have changed from a medical nose surgery though. As you can see from this photo, her nose used to have a bit of a bump and now it's more of a ski jump shape. She also claims that her plump lips are the result of overlining, which she does do, you can see it in photos. What do you think? Woke up like that? Or nah? At number four, we got Daisy Keach. Daisy is an influencer with 1.6 million subscribers. She's known on Instagram for her perfect body, but she's also been criticized a lot by people for claiming to be all natural, especially when it comes to her butt. People found before and after photos that show her butt quite a bit flatter and smaller than the one she's known for today. So what did Daisy do? She booked an appointment with Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Ashkan Gavani and had him examine her derriere to prove to her haters that it's her real butt. And guess what friends, 100% confirmed her butt is real. Here's how. Dr. Gavami says that she's never had kids, her butt is firm, and has good volume. He didn't see any changes in her skin that would have meant she had something artificial injected, like you would with fat transfer. So there you go. She's not only claiming to be all natural, she is all natural. At least, her butt is. At number three now, Victoria Beckham. Back in October of 2019, Posh Spice was interviewed on This Morning. When she was asked if she's ever had work done, she said, I quote, I haven't been tempted by a cosmetic procedure, but never say never. Well, Victoria was actually caught red handed in this lie because she's already admitted to having plastic surgery. In a letter she wrote to her 18 year old self published in Vogue magazine, she said she regretted her boob job. She said, I quote, I should probably say don't mess with your boobs. All those years I denied it, stupid. Just celebrate what you got. Back in the 90s, Victoria kept denying the fact that she got her breast done. And like, I mean, we could all see it. She did. She, 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 yeah, she did. That's kind of awkward. Why you gotta lie? Like, I don't get it. How do you not remember that you wrote an open letter to Vogue where you admitted your boob job? <laughs> At number two now, Tommy Lauren. Oh, I'm about to ruffle some feathers with this one. She says no to plastic surgery. Experts say otherwise. 
The following photos are from when she was a student at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas when she was hosting a campus TV program called The Scramble. I mean she looks pretty different no? I almost didn't recognize her in these pictures. And experts have weighed in on their opinion. Dr. Gregory Buford, top plastic surgeon in Denver, says that she's had Botox on her lower eyelids, Botox in her brows, or a surgical brow lift. And Dr. Sean Little, plastic surgeon from Arizona, says she's had a rhinoplasty and work on her chin, lips, and jaw. What do you think? And at number one, we've got Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian has claimed that she's never had plastic surgery. She admits she gets injections in her backside, but those injections are cortisone shots to help with her psoriasis. Kim does have psoriasis. Kim does say that she's had Botox, but she doesn't classify Botox as plastic surgery. She also says she's never had her nose done and attributes her changing face and body to having kids. And I gotta admit, it's pretty hard for me to tell, especially when it comes to her face. She's admitted to the Botox that we all know. But what I wanna know is, is Kim Kardashian's butt real? How is it that all the Kardashians and frankly most influencers have this like crazy bulbous butt? Is there some like workout that's happening in Hollywood that I don't know about? Here's a photo of Kim's backside before and here's what it looks like now. And we all remember those really terrible paparazzi photos of her on the beach. They say that if your thighs match your butt, then it's natural. But uh... So... I have something I want to say. I realize IO has been on a bit of a negative kick for a bit here. And like, that's because drama sells and exposing people sells, but sometimes it's just nice to bring a little bit of light into the world. I gotta admit, I've been considering getting a little something something for a bit. A little something 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 something. Ever since I've been covering these videos of plastic surgery transformations. It's kind of hard to consume so much of that content and not be tempted. But I'm making this video not only to teach myself that I should be happy with what I look like, but also to teach others that you can be happy with what you look like. I always say that if you want plastic surgery or you've had plastic surgery, that's totally okay. I'm all for doing whatever makes you happy. But if you've been tempted by plastic surgery and maybe you're kind of like on the fence, maybe watch this video first. I'm about to count down the top 10 celebrities who refuse to get plastic surgery. Starting off our list at number 10, the queen herself, Meryl Streep. Meryl has always been very against plastic surgery and she actually made an interesting comment about it. She said that those who succumb to surgery draw more attention to their features than those who don't. To be kind of honest, I feel like she's right. Although there's some instances where plastic surgery isn't noticeable, most of the time it is noticeable because humans can recognize symmetry and asymmetry in faces. Faces are supposed to move in a certain way and if they don't, our brain kind of is like, hey, like something seems off over there. You can't really tell in pictures of course, which makes sense because this is a plastic surgery Instagram world that we live in. You can definitely tell in person or in videos. The face just like doesn't move in the way that it's supposed to once you've had plastic surgery. Meryl's refusal to get plastic surgery might also explain why she's the best actress of all time and most nominated actress of all time. She can actually move her face. <laughs> Meryl is 70 years old at the time of this recording. Coming in at number 9 we have Kate Winslet. Despite what the tabloids will tell you, Kate Winslet has said in the past that plastic surgery is against her morals. I mean, listen, it definitely helps if you look like Kate Winslet. <laughs> She's unbelievably stunning naturally and she also has access to some of the best skincare and cosmetics in the world. She also has some tips for aging gracefully. For high profile red carpet events, she rests, hydrates, and stays away from salt and alcohol. That is a good point. I do tend to look like a soggy potato after a night of drinking and potato chips. <laughs> and eating my own kind. She also avoids caking eye makeup on her eyes, which tends to make a person look older. She is 44 years old at the time of this recording. I can't believe that some of the actresses on this list are as old as they are, but they are. They look amazing. Coming in hot at number eight, we have Tina Fey. Is it just me or does Tina get more beautiful as she gets older? Although she said that the greatest challenge as an actress for her is getting older, Tina once said that Botox makes faces look like shiny waxy candles and I honestly can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> she also criticized how many people in their 20s are getting Botox, saying, In their 20s, we've been so conditioned now to never see a real human face, one that moves with its original teeth. Sometimes there is a choice. I choose not to do this. It's like wearing multiple pairs of Spanx. Good for you, not for me. Not mandatory. Tina is 49. In at 7 on our list, Salma Hayek. 
53 years old, of course, like most of us, Salma has been tempted by plastic surgery. When she tried to imagine what she would look like at age 50, she was terrified. But now at 53, Salma feels good about the way she looks. And I guess it's like not hard to feel good about looking like Salma Hayek. <laughs> but she's always ruled out Botox. She's been really critical of young people getting it as well. Salma is open to the idea of it when she gets older, but as of right now, she hasn't done anything. Salma Hayek is even proud of her gray hair. There is rumors that she got her boobs done, but I mean, mm, they're rumors, right? At number six on our list, we have Emma Thompson. Oscar winner Emma Thompson has previously said that people in their 60s should shouldn't have to look like they're in their 30s. And although she is 60 years old today, she most certainly doesn't look like it. She's so against Botox that she's literally called it psychotic. She said, I quote, it's mad, it's not a normal thing to do, and the culture that we've created that says it's normal is not normal. At number five on our list, Julia Roberts. 52 year old Julia Roberts admits she tried Botox once and she'll never do it again. She prefers healthy living, working out, and eating right, which also do wonders for your skin. Julia has said that people should know what emotion she's feeling the exact moment that she's feeling it and honestly as an actress as well I couldn't agree more. I feel like she looks better at age 52 than she did in Pretty Woman but I do miss her red hair like I really do. <laughs> that like big red mane oh my god that was so good that was so good. Bring it back please can we start like a GoFundMe or something? <laughs> please sign this petition to bring back Julia's big red mane. <laughs> Coming into the number four slot another redhead Julianne Moore. Julianne is 59 and honestly she is one of the most beautiful women I've ever ever seen in my life and also one of the best actresses that I've ever seen. Maybe I'm just like obsessed because I like stan a fellow ginger but holy crap if I look like Julianne Moore when I'm 59. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm happy. Julianne was quoted saying, cosmetic surgery itself starts to look normal, and we lose track of what a real face looks like. And I think that's definitely becoming true more and more. We are forgetting what natural beauty looks like because so many of us have been tempted to alter something about ourselves. It's kind of becoming normal to do that kind of thing. Like you're the odd one out if you're not doing it. I feel pressure. I feel pressure. At number three on our list, Halle Berry. The always stunning Halle Berry it looks like she hasn't aged a day. She is 53. Of course, like anyone in the industry, she does feel pressure to alter her looks because everyone else is doing it. She has wondered if she has to also in order to stay alive in the film business. She once said that little nip tucks are pushed on Hollywood stars like crack. Crack. Don't do crack guys. And when you think about it, plastic surgery does become an addiction. It's never just one little syringe. It's a little fun. Yeah, maybe it's a little fun. Oh, but maybe I'll just like get a little more, you know? And before you know it, you're like, <laughs> at number two, we got Andy McDowell. I feel like Andy's face has not changed at all. She's been the face of L'Oreal Paris for 30 years, so she's definitely an expert on skincare. Her tips, coconut oil, homemade salt scrubs with different essential oils, and steam showers to get that soft skin. She works out every day as well, aerobics for one hour, adding that if she misses a day, she's not as happy. Her biggest beauty secret, learning to accept yourself, flaws and all. She's even gone on the cover of Gen Lux magazine without retouching. Now, if that is an influencer that we should be following. She is now 61 years old. And in the number one spot, we have Paris Hilton. Paris literally looks like she's in her 20s. She's 37. That is so crazy to me. She's 37. Although she's never had anything cosmetically altered in her life, she's never done Botox, filler, or anything like that, she is obsessed with skincare. And she's been obsessed since she was like eight years old. She says that she's been using this cream creme de la mer since she was eight. It's $175 for a one ounce bottle, which is like, <laughs> okay, uh, food for two weeks, one ounce bottle of cream. Of course she can't afford the best skincare in the world. We are talking about the heiress to Hilton Hotels. But Paris's biggest tip to looking young is staying out of the sun and honey, I could not agree more. Lather on that SPF and your skin will thank you when you're 30, 40, 50. 